And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Trundle. Got another donation deck with Taric. This time we are going to be buffing up some units really large, similar to the Taric Braum deck that we have played before, but we're going to be going with Taric, or sorry, we're going to be going with Trundle at the top end to be buffing up. So early on, we don't have a whole lot going on. So we're really going to want to find Omen Hawk and Starlet Seer in our opening hands when we're going to be mulliganing. These are going to be the two most important cards because they're really our, our, you know, it's our only one mana unit, our only two mana unit. Um, those are going to be what we want to have going on right away. Our only three mana units mentor the stones, which doesn't really block either. So these two can both block. So we're definitely going to want to have those. Um, but it's our late game that can be really awesome if we don't get run over. Because we have Taric, um, and you know we have a ton of pump spells that we're going to be, uh, you know, hopefully granting the top ally in our deck plus one plus one a bunch. But we have a bunch of pump spells with Taric that we get to copy onto something else. We have uh, Mountain Sojourners that can pump things up plus two plus two. Mentor the Stones, of course, pump things up plus two plus two. So a lot of ways to pump up our Trundle and our other units. And then we have some ways to give them Overwhelm. Augur the Old Ones. Yeah, Old Ones can give Overwhelm. Zenith Blade, of course, giving Overwhelm as well. And we got some awesome cards at the top end with Infinite Mind Splitter uh, doing its thing. Battle Fury is just amazing with Taric, <laughs> right? Just That's kind of like what we're doing over here. Battle Fury, Taric, and then copy the Battle Fury onto something else. Hopefully some things that have Overwhelm. Maybe you gave Taric Overwhelm already. So yeah, that's what our deck's about. And of course, if we can get, if we can pump up Trundle a whole bunch, maybe get a level, you know, level up Trundle by playing the Ice Pillar. And now Trundle has Overwhelm and it's pumped up to be really big and it'll be finishing the game out. So we got some nice uh, beefy units here and we're going to be going for the beatdown. All right, Tarek Trundle. Let's see how this goes. So let's hope for Omen Hawk and Starless Seer. And if I had to pick one of those, Starless Seer. Those are the cards we want to see in our opening hand. All right, we're facing the burn deck. So hopefully we get a nice, a nice hand. This could be a little difficult to stabilize. All right, we got Starless Seer. That's awesome. We're going to keep one Elixir of Iron to protect our Starless Seer. Awesome. Good hand. Good hand. I like it. Now Omen Hawk can make our Taric better, make Taric a 3-5. Turn it into a Shen, basically. Wow, no one drop, no two drop. Okay, slower hand for them. We do get to hush Draven to keep the uh, keep the quick attack at bay, uh, but this is going to be us pumping up Starless here and blocking, I think. still also have the two elixir of irons as even more protection in case they have i don't know you know draven's whirling death or that i'll keep a one health starlet seer right now Yeah, that was clutch. What a clutch turn for us. Still got a couple of very large elusives that we're going to need to deal with. May need to silence those. <laughs> uh, Trundle, you're too small. Let's just play. Let's get another Starless here and play. Yes, you and me, Fishbones. It's going to be good for... You know, it's good to have that in play for Hush. <laughs> 
So I'm at 14. The problem with passing, to, I was that was my plan was to pass to triple hush, like hush these three. But the problem with that was the flame chompers. Was that I wasn't going to be able to block three things anyway. So now. Mentor the stones, are we blocking or not blocking? We're probably blocking. Like seven, go to seven. That flame chompers is really nice, because other otherwise we would have taken out all of those. Um, but, you know, now they still have this 4-1 elusive. Oh, that's true. I should have just blocked the 1-1 one, one with my 2-2 two, two Mentor. I should have switched that up instead of blocking with the Omen Hawk. Um, yeah, I should have switched that up. No, no War Mother's Call on here. Experiments are pretty good. Hmm, I wonder. Flame Chompers have been clutch. I'm not going to behold a Celestial card. Alright, well I made a bad block. See our hand really getting better than what we had. Okay, let's mulligan. Awesome. Omen Hawk Starless here. play Ursine, Stormclaw Ursine. That's, that is, that card's really difficult to turn on. It's gonna, most of the time, uh, not really do very much for you. Could Zenith Blade now, we would draw just a new Zenith Blade, but it would take up the mana. Plan is, you know, go, obviously going Tarek this turn, Trundle the next turn, then Zenith Blade the Tarek. The mountain endures.
Well, good news. Um. The their one noxion guillotine. Nobody plays more than one noxion guillotine, so their one noxion guillotine is out of there. So that's good news. I was thinking even, like, the reason why I blocked, like, I, I thought it was a free block, so I thought that even if they had Ravenous Flock, I would have my Elixir of Iron to protect. That was, I kind of, I forgot about Guillotine, but, like, I was, I was thinking even, like, like, Ravenous Flock or anything with the damage, Make It Rain, all that kind of stuff. I did want to block with a 1-1 because I wanted it Make It Rain. Uh, to be able to Alright, Augur will just give this overwhelm. <clears throat> Level seven. Don't worry. Okay. I am here. I'm always up for a round or two. Hold it, partner. Hopefully no Ravenous Flock. Ravenous Flock would make it 11. Um, so it would not level up Swain quite yet. Good attack for us. All hands on deck. Like a fish in water. <laughs> it's always cold in the frill. Do you get to attack this 08? That's okay. And then if we can like top deck Battle Fury so we could play that immediately, like on Terra can go straight to combat. That type. Okay, so yeah, so they, they have the Ravenous Block, but they they've been showing Ravenous Block for a while. Um, uh, is it gonna Ravenous Block and kill Trundle? Ravenous Block would kill a lot of these things. And so it looks like they just want to, they want to kill Trundle. You think they have double flock? I mean, that would be worse for me. They certainly have been showing one ravenous flock. After the back of the vision. There's no reason for them not to attack. I would love no attacks. Leave them nothing. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, Battle Fury. Elixir of Iron. That's not bad still. Okay, we're going to go with the Daybreak card. So basically I'm doing this on the Taric for the Overwhelm to be able to give the Mind Splitter, the Infinite Mind Splitter Overwhelm also. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic. 
But can you float? I could certainly try. Give Mentor the stones. Oh, they had a second guillotine. Well, darn. I'm glad they didn't draw that one. I'm glad that one got burned. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yep, exactly. I'm just gonna save. Um, I'm just gonna save the Zenith Blade for the Mind Splitter because I can already give all of these overwhelmed by just having Taric go with the Mentor of the Stones. Still puts him to negative two. These all have overwhelm. Zenith Blade doing work. That's what we're talking about getting some buff units. I mean, Mentor of the Stones is a 5-6. <laughs> Starlet Seer, 5-6, Overwhelm. The same Starlet Seer we played on turn 2. They're still dead. Alright, GG's. One of one. That was a cool game. Jack says, for such a small card pool, you have a lot to play around in this game. I, I agree, and I think that's I think that shows how they do a good job of... Um, they do a really good job of making almost every single card playable to some degree, which, which allows you to play a really wide variety of things, even with a smaller card pool, because you have so many um, good cards everywhere. All right, we'll keep one Taric. Okay, got an Omen Hawk. No Starless here this time. Unfortunately. But save two mana for Pale Cascade on turn two. Still not bad. And <laughs> there's that Battle Fury I wanted the last game. Alright, look at me getting my one attack in on turn one this time. Didn't do that last game. Big Trundle. So Swain Leona. The two champions people pair with Yasuo, but taking out the Yasuo. Stunned. They're gonna ravenous flock my mentor of the stones. <laughs> they can't get they can't bring themselves to do it. They're like, no, can't, just can't do it. So we'll have the Pill Cascade to try to protect the Taric. Don't worry, I am here. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. And if that doesn't work, we still got Trundle. Hopefully, no Noxian Guillotine on their side. And I. I did not want to see another sentry, obviously, because, yeah, they had that Ravenous Flock. They always have Ravenous Flock. We'll force them to have something else. Maybe they won't. Gotta be just play Trundle... It's gotta be just play Trundle before combat, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. Ice to me. Ah! No more Mr. Ice Guy. That's what I need to say whenever I take down a Trundle. Sunlight lines. Their deck is so stunning. Yeah, I, I understand, Kordak. I'll try to 
try to do that later. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. So let's just go Starlet Seer and Tarek. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? No, you don't really have to be worried. <laughs> That's the noise that Infinite Mind Splitter makes. An auspicious season. Our strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. They're at three out of four. Celestial power. Smashing. Unyielding. This would be a good winter. Gonna maybe play the Mentor of the Stones as well. This is pretty nice. Five to eight overwhelm with tough, and a six nine overwhelm with tough and regeneration. Those are difficult to deal with. Gonna have to stun him. Clad in shining sunlight. Behold the divine power of the sun. Yeah, and we got healing for him. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic. But can you float? I could so next turn, try. we have our Ice Pillar and our Infinite Mind Splitter. And then the turn after that, we just Battle Fury and go straight to combat before they have a chance to stun. So that's going to stun two things. We 16. Rise. I think we're okay. We got four blockers, so yeah, right now we're taking eight. The star shaping is only a gain four, not a gain five. If we want to do that, because you know we're at sixteen, we can't go over twenty. Feel the sun's glory. I guess we're taking ten because they can have the three power challenge, the 08, or not. So... <laughs> Does not ruffle our feathers. Battle Fury time. I guess they could have Hush, right? Like that would be, that would be the nightmare is that they have Hush. Well, that's also not good. So I could go with another Zenith Blade. No, then I can't have Battle Fury. So I guess it's, if I go Battle Fury, then it's Hush. Yeah, it's just if they have Hush, we kind of lose. To protect all. Lost 
lost in reflection. There is nowhere left to go. I basically just want to level up Tarek. Maybe it's better just to give it to the Ice Pillar? Alright, cool. Lisa rendered. Beautiful. You know, it doesn't really make much sense to give it to the 8 8 that's about to be a 9 9. Might as well give it to the smaller thing. Um. Let's see. Killer. Pass what's the best decks to climb. I recommend checking out the stats page here. There, Killer. That's a really good um, resource. You can see some decks that are doing really well. Um, I'm not, not one that believes too much in best decks kind of thing. But... You would change Augur for Peak. Peak. Uh, what's Peak? Like Arbiter of the Peak? The six. Okay, the the six six Overwhelm. I don't know. I think this is actually a pretty good Augur of the Old Ones deck. With. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty good. Oh, cool, the, the card bot is updated with the new cards. Awesome. The end of that. Yeah, I think this is a good good uh, Arbiter of the Old Ones deck. Augur of the Old One. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Starless here. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Hopefully they don't have anything that has like three health where we get an attack in with Mench of the Stones. One banner, one Darn. Probably still worth it. I won't back down. Oh yeah, the Mentor of the Stones is not tough. Okay, doesn't matter. I gotta show you the sights of Bill's water. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Hmm, and I got nothing. And I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, Scouts Scouts does a really good job of curving out. Just like honey thresher geese. Love ya. Fourteen.
I want to be able to block Misfortune. And, you know, basically block... You know, now I can block anything. Um, I wish I'd have the spell for next turn to be able to use with Tarek also. If they attack with everything, I take 10. The mountain endures. Hey, what's up, Nick? We are trying to stabilize against some scouts right now. They, of course, had a very good scout curve. So we're trying to stabilize. But that's not the easiest. Um, get a nice overwhelm regeneration here. Yeah, Gangplague Nightfall is real solid. I, at afterwards, um, I thought about maybe changing think about maybe changing the deck up. They pass they passed. Maybe I just pass also. So instead of misfortune, you know, we've played like misfortune with that deck before. I kind of think that maybe it should be a twisted fate deck instead. And so like my last game I played with Twisted Fate and with Black Market Merchant. Um and instead of being a little bit more aggressive, being more card advantagey, and that felt really good. Like Stalking Shadows with Black Market Merchant. I was very impressed with that. Alright, so this looks like we're just going to die here to level up Misfortune. And then level up Quinn. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. So Misfortune's the only thing with Overwhelm. I guess I guess star shaping saves more life than what Men to the Stones does. Fresh out of mercy. Where valor goes, victory follows. It's our time to shine, Valor. But it doesn't matter, it's too much. Alright, Scouts is still efficient. Aggressive decks with Noxus and or Bilgewater are doing very good. And then, um, I guess. Ugh. We've been having awesome hands here for our deck. Both of our, I mean, all, all four of our hands are, you know, like we ha we've had Omen Hawks and Starless Seers, all four of our hands. Um... I'm really worried about this deck ever winning a game when you don't have Omen Hawker Starless here. And that's kind of the problem with keeping Terra, because it's not Omen Hawker Starless here. Because, you know, we're looking at Mentor the Stones for our first play on turn three, and it doesn't block. I, I'm worried we're about us stabilizing. We'll, we'll see. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. All right, let's go, Trundle. All right, Blessing of Targon here. Have that with the Blessing of Targon there, which this thing pumps this up. Never submit. your farewells. Bar the doors! <laughs> okay, can we stabilize? This was... This worked out really well the last couple of turns. They didn't... You know, our, this worked out better than I was hoping. They didn't put too much on the board to be too aggressive. 
but the Monkey Idol has leveled up Sejuani and can play. I'm glad they're playing Sejuani right now. I don't know exactly why they're playing Sejuani right now, but I'm glad they're playing it now. I wish Sunburst killed Sejuani, but it doesn't. No, not really. No problem. So I, I just saved the spell mana instead of playing the Mentor of the Stones. At 10 mana, I cannot... Sunburst this thing. Maybe I should just be going with the Blessing of Targon immediately. Admire me later. I probably should have just done that before passing priority. Um, but the thing is, they can they can frostbite my team pretty easily. Okay, cool. I still have the elixir to protect Trundle. Well awesome. So I feel like if I would go the the blessing of Targon, they would just frostbite my Trundle. Safety will cost you. Okay, so that worked sure, out. Shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Hmm. Let's let it die. So this is difficult of whether or not to play Ice Pillar first. Because Ice Pillar does give Trundle Overwhelm, but if they have Sedge like them having Sejuani is the main problem. If they don't have Sejuani, I want to play Ice Pillar. If they have Sejuani, I want to attack. Um. Alright, go Pillar. If they have Sejuani, we're gonna be really hurt. But they still are at 20 life. How oh, they have such money. We're gonna level up Tarek. Tarek doesn't die. To preserve beauty and protect all life. To protect all. Bow to your king. Unyielding. This is gonna be fun. They should just warning shot and, and frostbite all of my stuff. And then I can go Blessing of Targon. Prove your worth. Maybe they won't. Warning shot. Take forever, why don't you? Wow. All right, well that's awesome. So of course you know that that means probably like Riptide Rex, but that's fine. You know for next turn. 
I, of course, don't want to waste all this mana. We're going to just go ahead and star shaping. Yeah, Living Legends has to be better than Immortal Fire whenever they can frostbite anything at any time. Killing Trundle. That was actually a really good Rift Hydrax for us. That's, that's like as good as we could hope. That was a very good Rift Hydrax. I forgot Trundle had permanent vulnerable. Which it's that's not to good. So yeah, Trundle's down. Can't do too much about that. Sorry, y'all. Sorry about that. No, I, I've never heard of that coded. So no, I haven't haven't tried it. I've never heard of that. I mean, I guess we just go open attacks right now. I have noticed that like Infinite Mind Splitter plus Ice Pillar has been pretty awkward of like Ice Pillar always giving vulnerable to like this thing that I've been stunning. Those two together have been pretty awkward. Um, they only have one blocker. This isn't, oh yeah, this is probably lethal, never mind. Oh wait, they they're just gonna frostbite my stuff. I'm sorry, all of this all of this happening with Harvey, I just kinda of forgot of like what where we are, what we're doing. Um Yeah, I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay, so this is taking, what, two, four, six? So Men to the Stones is taking six. So I would have to use both Elixir of Irons to save Mentor, but then I don't get to play Augur. I definitely wanted to play Augur this turn. I think we just let this happen as is, and so I can play Augur. Uh, I'm planning on Augur on the Ice Pillar. Let's give this Ice Pillar regeneration. Hard to attack through that thing. Value of coin. None can compare. 
and be gone. I am planning on playing another Infinite Mind Splitter. I'm not playing the gems too much because I wanted to keep on keeping these elixir of irons available. This is Zenith Blade. We're not going to do the 10 to them. But I want, you know, we got that Zenith Blade out. out. That will heal my Taric for two. Attacking with the Infinite Mind Splitter will heal it for two also. Stole my Starless here. That's rude. Heal both of those for two. Give them overwhelm. Makes no sense to block that. Terra can't take damage. Makes no sense. Makes no sense to block either of these because they can't take damage. But yeah, I mean, I guess we don't have to attack for that infinite mind splitter. Spell cascade over here. Okay, down to ten. Keep getting more cards. Water is mine and mine alone. So that could be the card that you grab from Battling here. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's the third Zenith Blade. I'm pretty sure we don't have another one in the deck, but. Who knows, we played a lot of long games. Maybe I'm wrong with that. You'll fight or you'll swim. Room them up. Yeah, was the third? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, that, that won't quite kill Sejuani. Card I need to kill, of course. That's the only card keeping them alive. Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Open wide. I'm at four. We'll have Living Legends for next turn. I 
Okay. I guess that's it. GG's. GG's. All right, so there we go. That was Tarek Trundle. Um, the fun one to play, you know, you get to do some some pretty crazy stuff at the top end. You get to make some huge Unix. Ter Tarek looked awesome with some of this other stuff. I would probably move away from Mountain Sojourners. I think that, of course, we never had Mountain Sojourners, but we already have like Trundle. We already have a lot of good stuff. I think that I would want cheaper cards um, instead. I would want some, um, you know, more ones and twos because if we don't have Omen Hawk, don't have Starlet Seer, it's going to be difficult for us to stabilize. So maybe something else that costs one or two that's not necessarily a terrible draw late. Or maybe something that can do like some blocking for you. Maybe like some Solari Shield Bearer, maybe. That's a great blocker on at turn two. Um, I don't love Icefield Archers. That, that card doesn't block that well. It's not, not a great card to play on turn two, like, especially if they have like little 1-1s one -ones and stuff. Um, there's so much bilge water around. There's so much make it rain, misfortune, all that kind of stuff. Icefield Archer. I just don't like one health, how that card has that. But if you want to play a one health thing, maybe it's Avros and Sentry. Avros and Sentry is awesome because you get to draw cards. So I could see, I could, you know, see playing a couple Avros and Sentry. That, maybe that's the card. You can draw cards and that's a pretty good one to buff up because then they, they don't really want to even block it anyway. And they don't want to kill it anyway. Um, yeah, the the Lunari Elusive is a good Starlet target, and it's a good card to have late, right? If you draw this late, it's going to be an Elusive. Playing it on turn two, it's frequently just going to be a 2-3 with no text, if, if we're going to need this on turn two. So if you don't mind playing a 2-3 with no text, then this card is awesome to play later on. I'd, I'd probably get one of those in, probably get, um, I would probably go Avarose and Sentry myself in over Sojourners, just to get just to get a little bit more um, two mana cards and just get a little bit more out there um, so we're not as dead if we don't have Omen Hawk or Starless Seer. You like Shield Bear yourself? Yeah that's that's a good good option as well. Shield Bear Shield Bear is better against like these fearsome cards. There's a lot of fearsome cards running around and it is so it's a better blocker against aggro. Sentry is like a better card that's a blocker that's also good against control kind of thing. Uh, second Hush. Um, nah. There's just too much of the aggro decks running around that Hush doesn't do very much against. I think one Hush is good for a deck like this. This deck needs to be pretty proactive as well. I think one is good. I mean, Hush is amazing against Sejuani. If you're going to just face Sejuani all the time, sure, go another Hush. It's great there, but um, I, I like one. I think one's good. Um, yeah, and yeah, so that's... So kind of like wh whichever whichever card you like to play, if you want to play Shield Bear, you want to play Shade Stalker, you want to play Avaros and Sentry, I'd, I'd recommend one of those three. I like all three of those more than Icefield Archer. Um, yeah, no, no text 2-3, the late game, because elusive late game, of course, is amazing with all these buffs and everything you know like your blessing of targon and your Tarek, and then you put it on over to the elusive like that's awesome so yeah that's that could be a good option for shield bearer too you know it's a, i'd recommend one of those three whichever one you want for that slot all right so there we go that's Tarek trundle those of you all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments anything about the deck anything about that last card slot anything like that but Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.